Hi folks, today we are talking about post-print processing of training Marco sticks. What you're looking at here is the combo package C1, still sitting on the print bed. Two sizes of the training Marco sticks are included here, the standard and the large. So there you go, that's how you remove Marco sticks from the print bed. First, know your tools. This is a flash cutter. Scissors, pliers, and the most important of them all, the deburring tool. This is the standard size Marco sticks. Note how the articulate joint it's still locked up in place. This actually makes cleaning of the Marco sticks a bit easier. So leave it in place, don't snap them apart. Cut off visible parts of those oval brims. We added those oval brims in the Prusa slicer to make it so that the Marco sticks will stick better to the print bed during printing. Without the brims, it is possible that the ends of the sticks could wipe off during printing. You don't need to be super precise in this particular step. You will see in the next step what the deburring tool is for. Here's the articulate joint I mentioned earlier. Now, I'm about to make a mistake. I'm about to separate those two parts. You should not do that. Wait until after the next step that the bearing process is done before you separate those two parts. When you're ready to do this step later, this is how you do it. You lightly pull the two pieces apart. The two pieces do not yet move free. There's tremendous friction in between them because of the ragged surface that is a result of the printing process. I'll show you what a pair of finished Marco sticks feel like in my hand after the finishing process is done. Yeah, we'll polish the contact surfaces later after the next step. So, that's the burying. This is the best tool I have ever bought for 3D printing. You have seen enough, I would fast forward the rest of the deburring process. The ends are not easy to deburr. I just cut it off with scissors. Now the two Marco sticks feel clean in my hands, we can now take care of that nasty joint. But first, I want to show you the arrows printed on the two sticks. They are useful as indicators for showing you how the two sticks line up. This is a repeat, watch carefully. Note how the top Marco stick not only rotates, but also tilts as it rotates. This is part of what we call the standard grip movement. To make the contact surfaces smooth, you need to grind the two parts against each other. Just use them as their own sandpaper. Flip your Marco sticks around. 
Look at this piece here. That sharp piece that goes into the nudge generates most of the friction you feel in your hand. You'll grind away parts of that small sharp piece, but it will still be big enough to go into the nudge and function as a limit stop for the top Marco stick at one end of its standard grip movement. Now we are able to use Marco sticks as intended, but there's one more step to go. This lubricant came with my printer, courtesy of Joe Prusa. We're going to use it to make the joint move even better. Pick up only a very small amount. Don't apply too much. I'm not getting purchase here, so I'm just uh, flipping the sticks around until I have a vantage point. There are four places where you would apply that lubricant. So that's one down, three to go. This is the last one. Ah, that's a beautiful application, if I may say so. Okay, we're done. You will find more information about Marco sticks and about training Marco sticks in the video description below. Or you can head over to marcosticks.org.